A bearing is a machine element that constrains relative motion to only the desired motion, and reduces friction between moving parts. It provides free rotation around a fixed axis. Whenever there are moving parts contacting each other, there will be friction, wear and tear, which reduces the efficiency of a machine, converting useful energy into heat and increases the overall maintenance cost. The modern bearings are so designed that it minimizes the friction value to a great extent, increase the efficiency and reliability. Bearings are classified broadly according to the type of operation, the motions allowed, or to the directions of the loads applied to the parts. Rotary bearings hold rotating components, such as shafts or axles within mechanical systems, and transfer axial and radial loads from the source of the load to the structure supporting it. The simplest form of bearing is the plain bearing, consists of a shaft rotating in a hole. Lubrication is used to reduce friction in the ball bearing and roller bearing to reduce sliding friction rolling elements such as rollers or balls with a circular cross section are located between the races or journals of the bearing assembly a wide variety of bearing designs exist to allow the demands of the application to be correctly met for maximum efficiency reliability durability and performance the first practical caged roller bearing was invented in the mid-1740s by horologist John Harrison for his marine timekeeper. This uses the bearing for a very limited oscillating motion but Harrison also used a similar bearing in a truly rotary application in a contemporaneous regulator clock. Today ball and roller bearings are used in many applications which include a rotating component. Examples include ultra-high-speed bearings in dental drills, aerospace bearings in the Mars rover, gearbox and wheel bearings on automobiles, flexure bearings in optical alignment systems, bicycle wheel hubs, and air bearings used in coordinate measuring machines. There are at least six common types of bearing, each of which operates on different principles. By far the most common bearing is the plane bearing, a bearing which uses surfaces in rubbing contact, often with a lubricant such as oil or graphite. A plane bearing may or may not be a discrete device. It may be nothing more than the bearing surface of a hull with a shaft passing through it, or of a planar surface that bears another. Or it may be a layer of bearing metal either fused to the substrate or in the form of a separable sleeve. With suitable lubrication, plane bearings often give entirely acceptable accuracy, life, and friction at minimal cost. There are several specific styles, bushing, journal bearing, sleeve bearing, rival bearing, and composite bearing. Therefore, they are very widely used. However, there are many applications where a more suitable bearing can improve efficiency, accuracy, service intervals, reliability, speed of operation, size, weight and costs of purchasing and operating machinery. Rolling element bearing, in which rolling elements placed between the turning and stationary races prevent sliding friction. There are two main types of rolling element bearing. Ball bearing, in which the rolling elements are spherical balls. Roller bearing, in which the rolling elements are cylindrical taper or spherical rollers. Dual bearing, a plane bearing in which one of the bearing surfaces is made of an ultra-hard glassy dual material such as sapphire to reduce friction and wear. Fluid bearing, a non-contact bearing in which the load is supported by gas or liquid. Magnetic bearing, in which the load is supported by a magnetic field. Flexure bearing, in which the motion is supported by a load element which bends.